Welcome back to Monster Mash Movie Marathon 2K21. Today, we're going to be talking about Night of the Living Dead. It's my first time to watch this film, actually, to be honest. But I've watched, like, countless zombie movies throughout the years. Shaun of the Dead, or Day of the Dead, you know, zombie lands. It's nice to, like, go back to the source. I think this is kind of the main crusp of this review is just get back when zombies were actually terrifying or when ghouls were terrifying because they keep calling them ghouls in the film if you haven't seen it before i highly suggest you go out and watch it uh, it's free on youtube easy to watch easy to get your hands on and that type of stuff you don't need to you know get a dvd you know to watch some of these films on the monster Mash movie marathon list so that's pretty cool it's the original classic george a romero standard zombie be home. Uh, you have, you know, the outbreak, you know, you have all your standard stuff in here that related to zombie film. Group of people, you know, locked in a house or, you know, somewhere where they have clashing uh, ideologies and clashing characteristics and whatnot. You have one of them who got bitten by a zombie, they don't know they're gonna turn, and when they do, it's devastating. And it's just kind of just earnestness to it. This kind of like actual horror. Shot in black and white. Shadows play in the film. It's very good. Only let you see what they want you to see. I think that's really good. And something that tomorrow's film will kind of carry on, as they say. Original zombie film we're talking about here. So it's just, it's very good to just go back and like not have any gimmicks. It's not about action. It's not about suspense. Just pure horror. A bit of mystery kind as well. Because uh, you don't know like what happened with these zombies. But kind of it's implied that some sort of radiation created the zombies. It's not really really explained these are just ghouls and they're walking around and they're eating the flesh of the living there was really no guide to the zombie apocalypse in 1967 there's no like culture of like zombie films because this was the first one to actually you know, be made and whatnot it wasn't like the very very first one but it kind of popularized the, uh, the subgenre as a whole it was incredibly important because again laid the foundations for like stuff like The Walking Dead every single like other zombie film if you've seen like The Walking Dead or you've seen other like you know zombie films you've seen this film you know before. That, that's kind of a shame with me as well because I watched like the zombie holocaust and I watched all other like zombie films but this one I kind of kept back to be honest with you right I think it would hold up this well this is like a really really good film there is like a sense of dread like in this film like and it doesn't stop you think that they're going to escape and then the you know the car explodes and it's just more dread on top of dread. Oh, the the power lines are cut off. At a later stage in the film, the electricity goes and they're in darkness and it's one of these films where it's like everything that can go wrong goes wrong in this. The zombies are pushing in into this like uh, house. And you just see the amount of zombies in like the living room. And it's terrifying. Everything is stripped back and there's like there is at the start of it, there's like one or two outside, and then like eight and thirteen outside, and then they just they keep doubling up and doubling up and doubling up and whatnot. <laughs> it's that amount of dread in the whole film, and it's you know it's really quite something. I don't know, like you haven't seen it, so I don't know how you haven't seen it, but I can't really say anything about that. <laughs> Night of the Living Dead is a classic and it's a classic for a reason. It's a classic because it kind of first zombie film or hit the mainstream. It's not even like a cult classic, it's just like a classic horror film at this point. So it's really it's really worth watching, you know, and it's free on YouTube, so you know, go watch it. So anyway guys, that's about it. B door. On the second day of Monster Mash Movie Marathon. Forever.